welcome back to the channel on this video I want to talk about the aerial rider grizzly so let's go for a ride and talk about it and normally if I'm doing a video about the bike I normally would be riding it the grizzly but in this case I'm not riding it and the reason why I'm not riding that bike today is because I'm wanting to I've got new brake pads to put on the bike and I'm wanting to get those on there before I ride it uh, because those brake pads need to be changed out and so uh, I don't want to ride it uh, before I change out the uh, brake pads so I haven't had a chance to do that yet so I'm riding the Lyric Graffiti but what I want to talk about is the Aerial Rider Grizzly price increase. That's right, they're raising the price of the graffiti. Actually, it's raised right now as, as this video comes out. So the old price, and that's the price I paid, was $32.99. And now the price is going up to $34.99. So I assume it's still going to remain free uh, shipping within the U.S., uh, at least the 48 um, lower states. And, and uh, so $34.99 now from $32.99. And that bike, maybe once or twice at the most, or I can't even remember exactly uh, when, if it even has been on sale before. I guess it has, probably, but I just can't remember. That bike is normally one on their site that never gets put on sale, or almost never. You'd be waiting forever. So I know when I bought the Aerial Rider Grizzly, it was a case of when they came in stock. I have version 2 by the way and so the one you'd be getting now is version 3 and I remember at the time that I got uh, b before I got the bike I wanted I had my mind made up that I was going to buy the Aerial Rider uh, Grizzly as my next bike at the time that I bought it so it was a matter of waiting uh, because the bike was not in stock it, it would sell out pretty quickly you know so when I saw it come back in stock, when I was all ready to buy one, I jumped on it right away. And I'll say one thing, they were pretty quick to ship it. It did not take very long to get the bike uh, after I ordered it. So that was pretty good. And so version two and three, I don't think there's a whole lot of difference. The only difference would be is version two that I have came with two 5 amp chargers which are really good because you can charge it's a two battery a dual battery a bike it comes standard with the two batteries and I like the fact that you could charge both batteries up at the same time because you are using at least I did I always had both batteries turned on at the same time and it would use them uh, both at the same time so I wouldn't lose any you know uh, power uh, when I was riding so I uh, like to do it that way and so uh, That uh, comes in handy having the two uh, Chargers, you know, and so going down to one is kind of a bummer The other difference that I know of is the headlight. They've improved the headlight now. I don't know How much the headlight is better but they say that it is better so I just know the headlight on this bike is the best headlight I've ever seen on, a, on an e-bike on the uh, Lyric Graffiti. It's a 6,000 lumen headlight and it is awesome. But other than that, I think it's basically the same bike. I don't think there's any other real differences. Now in the time I've had my bike, my uh, Grizzly, is uh let's see i got it in April, so, June, June, July. so about a year and a half uh almost a year and a half a year and five months i guess i've had it 
and I've only had I had the controller issue where they swapped out both controllers because it was still under warranty I got two new controllers and that was an issue with version 2 and I think they've cleaned that up on 3 I don't hear people having problems with version 3 like they did with 2 so that's another uh, thing that sounds like it's been uh, fixed up and The only other thing I can think of that's different is the color. They give you more. I only got uh, the red one. Of course, now it comes in red, blue, or yellow. And I mean, I like all three colors. I kind of like that yellow and black look. I think that looks pretty sharp. But uh, they're all good. And uh, like I say, when I got version 2, there was no choice of colors. You got um, the red one and that was it. But at $34.99, my question would be, do you think it's still worth it? And if I'm looking around for a bike and I have $34.99 to spend, I would shop around myself. Um... But you're probably going to be hard pressed to find, especially a dual motor, a moped style bike uh, that's out there. That bike has a lot of power, a lot of torque, and um, of course with the dual motor, they're 30 amp controllers, so they're not the biggest controller in the world, but when you get dual motor going, I mean, that's uh, it's a pretty impressive bike for power. Having the uh, dual uh, 1000 watt rear hub motor. I will leave a, a link in the description if you want to go check out Aerial Rider Grizzly on their site. $34.99. Let me know in the comments. What do you think? Do you think it's still worth it? I think it probably is still worth it, but I would shop around. I mean, you're starting to get up. If you get too much higher over four, you're starting to get up toward prices of bikes like uh, um, like an Onyx RCR, you know. Uh, Of course they're different styles of bike the onyx rcr would be more of a street bike i don't see that one as, a, as an off-road really i know they do sell the uh, dirt kit but that bike is just really to me it's not really a dirt an off-road bike it's more of a it's more of a uh, street bike as, as far as i am concerned but um of course i've never owned one or tried one not yet anyway Someday I hope to uh, give one a, a try, but uh, like a Saron would be definitely an off-road bike. If I was looking just for an off-road bike and I was only concerned with that, I probably would look more at a Saron or a Talaria. Probably the Talaria because of the price. You know, they're they're a pretty good uh, price right now. Like. Not much over three thousand dollars will get you a Talaria, the uh, Black Edition XXX. So, so once you start getting up there into the thirty-five hundred dollar, closer to four thousand, you know, you might want to look around. But it's probably still an okay price. I mean, it's only up a couple hundred dollars, but a couple hundred dollars is a couple hundred dollars. You know, we want to see the prices go down, not up. But anyway, I wanted to uh, get that out and let people know, in case you didn't know that, that the price uh, uh, is going up as of uh, uh, tomorrow, which would be, because I'm recording this on Friday, September 15th, the price goes up on September 16th on Saturday. So let me know what you think of that price in the comments do you think it's still worth it or are you saying no way i would pay thirty five hundred dollars i would go 
look around or buy something uh, less money. I guess it depends what you want. There's not really a whole lot of dual motor bikes out there when you think about it. So looking at it that way, I mean, it's a combined 35 uh, amp hour batteries. The uh, wattage would be uh, two 1000 watt motors at 1850 uh, watts each that they peak at. I don't know, I'd be interested to see what uh, you folks out there think about that. Do you think, what do you think? Do you think it's worth, I think it's, I think it's worth it, but I would look around if that makes sense. Like I, I think it's probably still worth it, but I'd be uh, shopping around first, especially when bikes come on sale, like Black Friday. You get some uh, really good deals. That's that's I think the best time of year for buying a bike. So anyway. Uh, $34.99 is the new price of the Aerial Rider Grizzly. Take it or leave it. And that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time. <laughs>